I am on an island. I don't know where. I've spent spent a day and a half chopping down a couple trees and bushes. I collected some leaves. I don't know how. They're kind of big. I got some rope and cutting down little plants like that one over there. I turned logs into sticks. Which I can lob great distances. I need that. <laughs> I need that. I'm so lost. Uh, no. Oh. No. <laughs> Over there. Over there. And I built a pie. I need my friends. This is Jerry. He's a male. And this is Jane, his wife. We have Lucy over here, but she's like a teen. She needs water. And then some tools I've managed to rummage up from the shipwrecks in the local area. For example, that one there. And the one you may have been able to see over there. It's been a day. I haven't seen any civilization. My plane crashed. Probably, probably crashed. My plane crashed. And now, I'm stranded deep in the Pacific Ocean, I think. I'm not sure. Okay, so, after that weird introduction that was slightly off my normal key, um, welcome to Stranded Deep. This is a game I'll possibly maybe um, do the intro at the end of the sequence to have got to the situation. But this is a game where you've got to survive. You crash your plane somewhere and then you're chucked off onto an island. This was not the first island I went to. My first island was that one over there. You can see in the, on the right. Slightly view distance. On the right over there, that's the island I started on, but there was literally nothing there. The reason I keep spinning around is because your mouse tends to go outside of the screen, which closes it down and running. Now, to get these sticks, I've laid out these sticks, I've laid out these lashing, and I've laid out these palm fronds, and over here in my little boat, <laughs> okay, I've got some food in the form of coconuts and apparently potatoes. Oh, it's got a lot of lots of potatoes. Yeah, and I've got some rocks. I'll be showing you how to use all of these. Let me grab these rocks. How to use all this sort of stuff to um, survive. I've got some torches, some axes, a hammer over there. I've also got a compass, some duct tape, a lighter. I'm going to chuck these down right here. There's the imagery system. Um, oops, there There's the imagery system. I have nine rocks over here. Uh, you can pick these up. Give them a spin and drop them back down. But the way this works, the um, crafting way, as you can see with the sticks on the ground here, uh, with the little menu on them, it means I have enough to craft. So bring them into imagery. And yep, yeah, I should have eight. You need eight to build the. Um, getting a bit wet. You need eight to build the. Um, whatever it's called. The foundations for the beginning of your house. So you right click and it brings it onto your head. Still brings it onto your head. The way this game works and the way that the crafting works, I don't think I've ever seen in any other game. The way you do the crafting is you put it on the floor, like so. Yes, I am a magician. And then you click and then you get your crafting options. So with this, I can craft a campfire if I move this across here. So now, now all that is connected. I can still only build a campfire if I bring oh, you across. So I can hopefully connect all of this up. See, that's all of that locked up. I can now create a bed. So that's the things I can make with this slot if I drag this slot over so all this is connected as well. So it's all vicinity based. So if I click, it's only create that. Now with these tools, if you were to get the hammer, you can create the hammers, 
like create your own hammer, I will be showing you how to do that in a quick second. You come over and everything will go blue. You click on it again and you get a lot more sophisticated stuff. So in this one, you get a foundation which is just eight sticks. So you build this and it's just a shack floor. If you take it into the water, it becomes a raft. Raft. You can place this anywhere you want. Pretty much without exception, you can't like put it through anything. Like anything stupid, but you can have it up really high if you want to. I don't know why you would have been pointing. Or you can have it just sitting in the middle of the sea. Not the sea, um, island. But I'm not going to do that quite yet. If I put you back down like so. Oh god, this game does lag a little bit under physics. Um, t this tool you can get from the shipwrecks. Ooh. But we're going to show you how to make your own tools. So, first off, you need rocks, you need sticks, and you need some lashing. Should be enough. We're going to come over here and plonk down our sticks, plonk down our rocks, and plonk down our lashings. Now, this should give us a crude hammer, a crude axe. Crude axe is that one. Oh, did I just make two crude axes? I did. Oh, it's got. Wow, it got dark quickly. Wow, that got insanely dark quickly. Okay, where's my torch? Uh, over here, over here. Oh, there's my lighter. Alright, I'm going to do this. Okay, so lighter works as a lighter, as you'd expect. Let me just grab some sticks. Let me come over here. I'll pick this up and I'm going to light the fire and do it over by the fire. Let me take these in. I'm going to try and cook these. While I am here. So you can just pick stuff up and put it on the fire like so and it will cook and it will go ding when it is ready to be cooked. Oh, hold together. So, oh my god. Will we drop these sticks back down? Okay. Will we put these sticks down? We are going put some lashing down and some rocks down. This should let us screw a crude hammer. This takes two stones, a stick, and a rope. The axe and takes one stone, a rock, and a The crude hammer works the same way as the proper hammer. It makes everything blue. The only difference is it doesn't last as long. So now we got these. Let's put the hammer here. Drag it into the light. Drag it into the light. And we got our axes because I made too many of them. And I'm gonna put my stick away. Now to get these um different bits and pieces, you would take oh uh, there's another thing I need to show you as well with the stone. Uh, the with a stone, the way you interact, like the way you cut everything, is you put it on the ground and you cut. There's no sound effect for the rock and roll, but you smack a rock a few times and it becomes a stone shard. You get stone shards and lashings, they become a crude knife or a crude spear. Uh, the crude knife is obviously a knife ball, and there goes my crab. No fresher than that. Nice and, and then the spear, you sort of just jab, you don't throw it yet. Those can be used just to keep um, stuff away and I'm assuming catch fish. I don't know, I haven't used it before. I have not put too much time into this. Um, if I grab another lashing, I should be able to make yep, the knife. Now this is a knife. Oh. This is stabbing. That's stabbing knife more than anything. Put you down there with a spear. So so far we've seen the lighter, which is a lighter, and can be used as a light source. Ooh, hot, 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 hot. Uh, we've seen the axe, and we've seen the hammer. The compass is a compass. What more would you expect? The 
we have two drop ships, which are really bright underwater ones. Drop you down. And uh, then we got a flashlight. Same sort of thing, not as bright, and I don't believe it works underwater if it does not very well. Drop you down. And some duct tape, and that's for later on. Oh, you're a big fucking crab. Can I put you straight on the fire? Is that a yes? Nope, I need to kill you. Come here. We'll dinner for later. Ding. Put it on you get this. That's a big fucking crap. Okay, so as you can see as I was playing it out, uh this is your wash. This tells you your needs. So you got your health, your food and your water in the same order. Uh to get water you can drink from either your water bottle, which is over here, 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 there it is. Drink from either your water bottle, or save it, and get a coconut. All you need now is some lime, but unfortunately they don't have that in this game yet. So you get your axe back out, I need to crude axe this, so there's no point in wasting the proper one. Come back here, coconut. Give it a couple of wax. Then it comes drop coconut and then a drink of one. Double it down. Glug, 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 glug. I think like a good bit of uh, coconut juice while sitting out under the sun. It's the moon, it's technically sun rays, but okay. And then give it a couple more wax and you can split it in half. Now, this can create some of the most hungry inducing sound in the world. Crunch. So good. Like, I want to go and eat a coconut now. Uh, have my fire gone? Oh, you've come flying off for some reason. Let's get you back up on top of there. Like so. Said. I, I thought the music just kicked up a bit. Ah, uh, this is a tiger shark. Hey, Mr. Tiger Shark. Come here. I just want to be your friend. Come here. Come on. Come here. Bonk. Bonk. Yeah, tiger shark, the big wuss. Ah! Uh, <laughs> Go away. Get away from my island. Oh, get out of my island. Ah, uh, fuck. <laughs> climb a tree, climb a tree. Ah, uh, fuck. Ah, uh, fuck. Ah. <laughs> <laughs> uh, oh, no, nah, it's gonna get burnt as well. Well, I'll see you in the morning. Okay, so morning now. The music is still going. I don't, I haven't seen it apart from that one over there. I haven't seen it swimming through my island the entire night. I didn't sleep. There's no way I'm fucking sleeping up yet. Can I chop this down? I hope I can't actually. That's not something I should be finding out while I'm on top of it. Here we go. Here we stuck. Ho ha ha ha. Let's lock these down. Hey. So you can just climb down. Oh, I think I'm gonna fall off this is hurt. Oh, another pine tree there. Click that coconuts. Oh, that was scary. I didn't expect it to go through the island. Oh, you fuck. Oh. Uh, oh, fuck off! Oh no! Oh! Oh! Oh, fuck off! <laughs> no! I will not be tortured by a shark! Give me a little bitch, where are you? So, I'm gonna get my spear on you. I'm gonna get my spear. 
like a good crap. Whoa, we jump. You down there. It's not this low way. We must be in there. Ah, there is. There he is. There he is. He's come to slide. Kind of. Not really. <laughs> oh, bugger off, Shahak. Oh, that's terrifying. Ah! Oh, I just saw. Oh! Can I attack him? I can't. Fuck off. Go away, Tiger Shark. I don't. I. Like, ooh. Ooh, I just saw. Ooh, there you are. Hey, leave my raft alone. I'm not sure if it can hurt you while it's underground, but I don't want to take the chance. Come here, come here, come here. I don't want to hurt you much. Like, I don't know how much damage this thing would do to a shark. Okay, I'm going to ignore it for now. Oh, fuck. Maybe not. Come here. I can poke it. Okay. Oh, that's terrifying. Why is... <laughs> Why is it going through my oven? Uh, I'm going to carry on regardless. I'm... I'm, I'm I'm gonna Oh that was terrifying. Can I connect these up? I need to connect these up. I just really I need to build a foundation. Oh my fucking hell shark, don't leave me alone. I'm gonna build this here. And oh, oh. <laughs> Oh, uh, I've got a, I'm being haunted by a shark. Crap! 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 Go find him off! Go get him! Y did you get him? I'm safe up here, at least I hope. Ah! Oh, I saw you pop there. Go! <laughs> oh, there he is! <laughs> <laughs> if nothing else, this game is great for discus throwing. <laughs> and yep! No! Mm. Dead points! <laughs> okay, so you get hammer back out and you build supports. And these are just a stick. Fucking that shot! A stick each. And they go on the corners of each one. So, and once you've got your support like that, you can then build a wall, which goes like that. So you don't, and that's the end of that. Uh, what do I need for some wall? I need... some more sticks. Okay. While we look at the shark in the distance, that is not at all terrifying, and I didn't notice just before I started. Um, it's been about two hours since I last saw you guys, or since you last saw this rubber, and I've been to a couple of the other islands and got a bit more wood and bits and pieces. Now this is going to be the grand reveal and the grand tour of my little shack. It is not complete. There's still couple bits that I will need, but for now, it is, it will do. It will survive. It will help me survive. So we're going to walk backwards real quick here. So, um, yeah, so here is the boat and some steps I need to dodge. I'm getting caught on the fire. Um, welcome to my home. 
Uh, you can't really, there's not much headroom, so you don't have to stoop over. So let's jump out. Oh, let me just get them out there. Yep. So yeah, three ways in. This is, this is actually quite a lot of wood. For each of these foundations, there's one, two, three, four, five, five times eight, that's thirty, no, forty pieces of wood there. Uh, each of these roofs are another five, so that's another, uh, another twenty-five, and each of these walls are four, so that's a lot of wood. I'm not even going to bother doing the mess. That's all of this island, and then a couple of other islands as well. And then, um, while I was out, I had a bit of an intimate moment with a sea urchin, which is why I have to eat so much now. <laughs> uh, you can't see the sea urchins when they're out, so you will just walk into them and get sucked over massively. But the reason I have. Oh! Oh, what? It was a plane? Oh, the fuck. Okay, anyway. The reason I have it open this side is because that's where the sun comes from. The sun and moon come up that way, so I'll be working up by the morning light. I could if I wanted to put um, walls here, but there's not really much point. They just block up the fire, which I'm going to light and then leave you guys to carry on with your day. Uh, poof. Come here. Ah, uh, this isn't dead by the way, this crab. <laughs> I wonder if it'll... I'll bring you back in, I'm not sure if this will actually cook it or not. Having this just burning on the fire will alive. Oh, that looks so sad. Look at it. Oh, I feel bad for eating it now. Oh, not anymore. Uh, apparently, having it alive on the fire will not get it. So, oh well. That was the beginning of Stranded Deep. I may continue doing these because at this point, I am loving this game. It's fucking incredible. Oh, there's a fly. There's a fly in real life. Uh, so. This is amazing. I can't think of any other game I play where I had the same sense of immersion where I had to just put stuff on the ground and then build it and done for my inventory. But I'm going to leave it here, guys. I'm going to let you carry on with your days with, I don't know, I'll put something at the end and I'll see you in the next one. This is Sayer Man saying goodbye.